Hey guys, here with carbire.com.sg and just ignore the gargoyle behind me for one second because we've got two very special cars to show you today. Yep, and we're going to show you three very special things about these two very special cars. Okay guys, I'm sitting inside the 812 GTS. Now, for every Ferrari, the name tells you something about the car. So for example, let me break this down for you. It's 812 because this car has 800 horsepower. 800 and it's got a 12 cylinder engine like all those sort of classic Ferraris do. Uh, the GTS tells you that this is the open top version of the car. It's a Grand Tourer and the S probably stands for Spider. I don't know. Now Darren's going to tell you about the F8 Spider now. All right guys, this car is named the F8 Spider and of course last year Ferrari launched the F8 Coupe and F8 stands for Ferrari V8. So just like the Coupe, this car is named after itself. How Italian, right? And Spider is the Italian term for a convertible car. Comes back from ancient history where horse-drawn carriages with really tall wheels look kind of like arachnids. Not really sure of the provenance of that, but apparently that's it. Now you might be wondering, what makes these two cars so different? I mean, they're both Ferraris, they're both ultra-quick and ultra-powerful. And, you know, on paper, they're even quite similar. Exactly. Both of them do 0 to 100 in under 3 seconds and have a top speed of 340 kilometers an hour. That's really quick. Well, yeah, they are quick, but that's where the similarities end because, well, they're actually different creatures under the skin. And the difference is um, more about how they deliver their performance, and that's down to the layout of each car. This, the 812 uh, GTS, has its engine in front, and this... The F8 Spider has a V8 behind the driver mid-engine cars, which denotes a more driver-centric, sporty Ferrari. So this car is good for going around corners really, really quickly and going in a straight line pretty quickly. So if you go to Sepang in an 812 GTS, yeah, I mean, I've actually driven an 812 super fast around Sepang and I have to say, this is a bigger and more comfortable car than this is. And if you want to drive from Singapore to the Sepang circuit in comfort and ballistically, you can do it in this. But once you're on the track, it's actually not too bad. Although, once you do get to the track, you might want to trade it in with really? your buddy. Yeah, the Spider, which will go around corners like nobody's business and help you drift as well with the new systems on board. Then, of course, there is the all-important difference in their voices. This one has a 12-cylinder engine, so it's going to sound a certain way. And this one has a V8, both twin turbocharged as well. Yeah, so I think we should let the cars speak for themselves. Let's let you have a listen. Now the third thing we want to show you about these cars is of course the lovely mechanical ballet uh, of their roofs in action. But before we get to that, I just want to make a point about the 812 GTS. Now it's a V12 front engined uh, Grand Tour from Ferrari um, that happens to be a convertible and that's actually quite rare. It's normally the case that when you have a V12 Ferrari, it's only a convertible as a special edition and the limited edition cars, uh, well you know what that means with Ferrari, the company has to know who you are and you kind of have to have some kind of family relationship with them before you're invited to buy one of those. But for this, uh, for the A12 GTS, anyone uh, who's a motoring writer who's won the lottery or anyone with a pile of cash under the mattress can actually rock up to Ferrari and buy one. And uh, with that out of the way, let me just show you what you'll be getting for your money. Right, so those are three things we really wanted to share with you about these two Ferraris. And we know what you're thinking. How much do they cost and when can I buy one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about when you can buy one. You can buy one now. Uh, this one here, 1.56 million, that's without options. And uh, that's in Singapore dollars. Yeah. And without certificate of entitlement. Right, same thing for the Spider here. 1.1 million dollars, no options, no COE. You can buy them now, but as to when you'll get them in your hands, that's another Ferrari conundrum. Probably a year, uh, six months at least. Uh, no, more than that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more or find out more about these two cars, please log on to www.cartmire.com.sg and we'll see you next time. That's right. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Check out the website and follow us on Facebook.